this video, we are going to show you different ways to annotate and create an alignment and profile using Open Roads technology inside Open Bridge Designer. First, you have to start with a proper seed file. So, depending if your project is in Imperial units or metric units, you have to pick the proper seed file. In this example, I want to create a metric file. Saying that is important because you have to pick the proper seed file for OVM. So here, if I pick metric standards, it will point to me to all the sheets related and DGN related to metric units. So in this case, we're going to use the OVM C 3D metric to create a new file. And I'm going to put a name on that file into a, di a predefined directory that I already have created. So I'm just cut and paste and I will just call it geometry. Geometry metric just to make the difference. It will open the new file and I will be ready to start my alignment creation. So I'm just going to do it just one single view and let's just start placing it. So I need to go to the civil tools, open bridge modeler, and let's place a single line first. So there are many options to place a line. So I'm going to use the easy one, for example, here, place line between points. And I can just create, left click, and start creating the line. As you can see, the dimensions are right there. So I can go with a certain distance. I said I need it to be this tangent of 300 meters, for example. So I am locking that. And just the direction. And accept. Right? So I have my first line ready. So if I do a fit view now, so I have 300 units, 300 meters to start. And now let's place a, a curve, for example. So I'm going to place a single one, and then later I will do more complex geometry. So I will go an arc coming from that tangent, so arc from element, and it's going to be just a simple arc. So a simple arc from, so starting from this line, and I'm going to trim it, the back part of that curve. I can also fix the radius, right? So let's do a 200 meter radius, for example. So it's locked. So when I place that, I said, this is the from element. Uh, where is going to start this arc? Well, it's going to start at the end of that line. So I just use the snap, left click, and I start sweeping with a 200 radius that. So let's see, this is the sweep, right? I can also lock the length, right? So here, for example, I can say, oh, let's do this uh, 300 units arc. And the sweep is maybe too much to achieve that. So let's unlock it and let's go back here, right? So this will be good. Left click, done. And then the sweeping angle, left click, accepted both. Now, what is the next step? Well, after this line, maybe it's another tangent, right? So then I will go place a line, but it's going to be a line from element. So a simple line from the element, then it happens to be that this element is an arc. So select that, trim it back. This is the from element, and that tangent is going to start right at the end of the curve. Left click and shoot my tangent up to a fixed distance if I need to. Left click, cut. Right, trim it back. So now one more time, a fit view, and then I have a full alignment created. Now, at this point, these are three separate lines. So I need to make it an alignment. So what I can do is say, well, make it complex geometry. Right? And with complex geometry, also we need to talk about is this an alignment? It has a feature called an alignment. It will have a notation. Yes. 
So I'm going to set up my standards and say set the feature definition. And the feature definition, it comes in the workspace. And that workspace, if I call the definition toolbar here, right? I said, look, this is that feature definition on that toolbar is is going to be what? It's going to be a feature definition alignment and it's going to be part of the geometry. So whatever it's create now, OBD, Open Bridge Designer, will interpret that as a, an alignment. So let's go back here. And one more time, I will go complex by element, right? And this is called the feature definition, right? One more time, it's going to be a geometry baseline and I'm going to call it maybe center line. So this will have the name of my alignment. It's going to be automatic because as soon as I pick the element, it will connect the other ones and it will change the symbology and the features. So it will be treated as a geometry baseline. So accept it one more time. And now I have full geometry. Right? I always have this available to see what I'm dealing with on regarding the feature definitions. But now if I go back here, to selection, if I need to change something, see, I can review all the geometry here. And since it's being an alignment called geometry baseline, I can also annotate it and change. So I can go here, for example, and say, no, this is not 200, this is 250. And look how the alignment is going to be moved. Right? Or here, this tangent, you know, it was uh, what? Uh, 251, so I'm going to make it 300 and it's extended and treatment. So now the alignment remains and I have the full geometry defined. And when I select the properties, as you can see, right, it's a feature of alignment geometry baseline and the name that I call it was center line. Now, being this an alignment, what you can do as well is go to analysis and reporting, uh, pick a scale, Right, this is a notation scale is on. So I'm going to say the available scales are also defined on the workspace. So I say, this is the scale and I'm going to annotate the element and say, well, annotate this element, the entire alignment, accept it, reset to complete. So right click and it's fully annotated. Or maybe I need to increase the size of the text. So, and you will have the annotation scale depending on the scale you want. So this is how you create an alignment, a very simple alignment here in OpenBridge Modeler. So now to create a more complex configuration here, I will go civil one more time. Right, and I'm just going to leave this and say, look, I want lines. Select the first line and this could be tangent here. Now I would say I need an arc, but it's not going to be a simple arc. Now it's going to be an arc from element to, but it's going to start with the spiral. So spiral arc from element and I can fix the radius. I can fix the spiral length, for example, and say, well, this is the element It's going to start and it's going to start at the end of the line. And that's the spiral with a radius done and the sweeping angle done so now after the spiral will be what it will be another spiral and then tangent so it's going to be a line from element but starting with a spiral line so one more time i define the length of the spiral could be the same could be different and Select the from element, the arc. The spiral is going to start at the end of the arc and extend the tangent there. Turn it back. So now I have a new alignment. Well, I have few elements. I have to make it into an alignment. Complex by element. And I'm going to say that this feature is going to be the geometry baseline that I have. So you say use active feature. I can select it here but I will go a little bit more automatic right here. So we use the active feature. I'm going to call it baseline two as a new feature definition. 
And uh, one more time, it's going to be on automatic selection. So this new selected is all connected. Left click to accept it. So then I have now new geometry. Now, if I need to annotate it one more time, I can go here, element annotation, annotate element, and I have annotation at a different scale. Now I have the spirals and all that. Still, I can make changes because here, for example, I can go back here to home selection. I say, look, this spiral is not 30. This spiral, I want it to be 50. So as I accept it, look how the station in change, all the label in change. So I can make still modifications to my alignment. So this is a second way in we can store an alignment here in OpenBridge Design. So another way to do it is by complex geometry by PI. So I can set up the PI here and say, for example, the first PI is just a point. Now I set it up as a 200, let's go 100 radius only. And at that point, I got 100. Right, and the tangent is coming here. It's good. Now it's going to start trying to do another 100 radius. So here. So I want it in this direction or that direction. So maybe I want it on that direction. Look how it's streaming back the information. So let's do it reverse. Left click. And now as another part of the PI, do I want on this one, do I want to have a spiral? So using my arrow keys, I can go and say that is a back spiral of 30, a radius of 200, I'm sorry, a head spiral of 30 again, and a radius of 200. So now I will have not only a PI with a curve, but I will have, as you can see, one more time, the arrow keys, 30, enter, right? The back 30 as well enter and then the radius of 200 so now i have that set up the point the tangent that is going to go through left click and reset to exit the command so now i have my spiral curve spiral combination right this extra line i don't need it so i can just go and delete it for example that was the tangent Right, so and here is the extra connection, so I'm good. So now I can just go on store this as a complete complex geometry. So I will go one more time to civil here, complex geometry by PI, no, excuse me, by element, and say use the active feature, geometry baseline, and I'm gonna call it baseline three. And this is the new geometry. Accept it. Yes. And I'm good. So now, if I need to annotate it one more time, I can go to analysis and reporting, a thousand scale, element annotation, annotate element. And that is your new alignment configuration PI to PI. One more time, any changes need to be made. You see, I got access to the full geometry. So that's three different ways, as you see, to create an horizontal alignment using Open Rose technology. So there are more items here, of course, but I think you get the idea on how these alignments could be stored. Thank you.